Hello everyone, my name is Molly and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a typewriter text effect just like this. The first thing you're going to want to do is go down to your type tool and click on the screen and type out what you want your text to say. So I want mine to say typewriter. I am then going to click the selection tool and see how it's got this blue box around that means it's selected and then you're going to want to come down and basically edit what you want your text to look like so make it bigger you know make sure it's centered i want mine to be an actual typewriter font and i downloaded these for free online there's a lot of different sites just look up free download typewriter font and you will find one basically so mine's called King Bing Typewriter 2 and it looks like this. I really like it. So just make sure they're centered by using these two sort of box alignment things over here and then you're ready to get started keyframing. So I do this first. I saw how, what I want my text to look like, how big I want it, what font and then I delete all the letters except from the first one. So now you know how big it's going to be on the page, all of that. It's just easier for me to sort it before I actually start. So go into your effects controls over here. Go down. You see where your text is here? Go down and where it says source text, you're going to want to click this sort of stopwatch looking thing, which is going to create a keyframe. So just click on that. I like to zoom in here, this is basically what you see down here on the timeline, this is just the font timeline sort of thing and then basically depending how fast you want your text to be typing you can basically just move these along, I like to do it this way and count it out, honestly there is easier ways to go through it but I prefer it so I just count, I'm going to do four, so one, two, three, four, and then click back on here and do your next letter. And then again, one, two, three, four, and then click back and do your next letter. So I'm gonna continue doing this for the rest of my letters and I'll get back to you when I've done that. Okay, so I've just finished out writing and keyframing all my letters. So let's play it and see what it looks like. I think one of the best things that makes this effect look really really cool is the audio. You want um, audio of text typing on a keyboard or a typewriter. So I downloaded a free a free not free text, a free audio clip from the YouTube Creator Studios. And I'm gonna use that, but honestly you could also record your own sound, which would be really cool but i haven't done this so i'm just going to drag in a pre-recorded non-copyright type um sound effect and if you're wondering what um sound effect it's called it's called keyboard keyboard typing fast um it's really quiet so what i like to do is click off this um keyframe and just bring up decibels and there you go, let me turn this up. My computer is really noisy right now. Okay, so where the last letter comes in, that is where you're going to want to cut your typing sound and delete that. So let's see, let's play it. There we go. So I think that looks really cool. It might even look cool if it just comes in a few seconds later. Let's have a look. Let's play it. So there is the effect. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.